Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy the Mad Tiger, and I'm here today with some more trade-ins. Um, I just traded in a bunch more PS4 stuff, and um, because I've resubscribed to PlayStation Now, because we might be getting an update to PlayStation Now soon. But I thought to myself, you know, a lot of the games that I own that I have left on my PS4 are games that either I that are on PlayStation Now, or I have digital, or I've beat and to be honest, if I can sell it and get something else in return, that's good enough for me. So, But today I've got some PS3 games, two PS4 games, um, some DVD and box sets and some Blu-rays and box sets. Um, we'll start with the PS3 stuff. First up, I was very happy to pick up The Darkness 2. I already mentioned um, that I found the... I played the second one first before years ago on the Xbox 360. Um, and I recently played the first one, but I'll be honest with you, I didn't re I'm not really enjoying the first one as much. I think it's a lot slower. Um, of course, the second one was sort of more balls to the walls action, um, which I preferred. And I mean, I mean, some people like the first game, and I can understand why some people were a bit disappointed that the second game wasn't, you know, um, the usual thing. It weren't exactly. Um, what they uh they did for the first game they made it a bit different but um i i enjoyed the second game so i'm happy to pick it up looking forward to definitely playing this one again i don't know if i'll beat the first one i probably will um and then play this one but i really enjoyed this game it's short but sweet really fun game and that was three pound i've got 157 trading credit uh, then we got Fast and Furious Showdown, kind of an uncommon game. Um, of course, the last Fast and Furious game that came out was was um, horrendous. Um, you know that game was was a big fail. Um, I've heard, um, but I don't know how good this one is. Um, I don't know if it's based on any particular movie or if it's just based in the universe. Um, it's kind of uncommon. This was a fiver. I've never seen it before, so I'm going for that PlayStation Three set. Then Call of Duty 3, um, I just need Black Ops 2, uh, 3 now actually um, for the Call of Duty set on PlayStation 3. Um, I recently beat uh, World at War again, still my favourite of the series and yesterday I played some Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 is probably my second favourite of the series as well. Um, but Call of Duty 3, um, still a pretty good one of course, sort of the old school Call of Duty but with some modern features. Um, then I was very happy to find Fallout 3 a Game of the Year Edition. Um, and what's great about the Game of the Year Edition? All the DLC is on the disc. In my opinion, any time you release a Game of the Year Edition, DLC on the disc. Simple, easy, that's how it's meant to be done. Really enjoyed Fallout 3 back in the day. Haven't played it in years. Um, I don't think I ever played the DLC either. But the only problem is with um, Fallout 3, there is no end game. So be aware, I made the mistake of when I beat it years ago of beating the campaign with the with the thinking, oh, I can beat the campaign and just do all of the side quests. You can't do that. Once you beat the campaign, the game ends. Um, I don't know if the DLC just gets added into the game and you find it. I imagine that's how it works. Um, but looking forward to playing this one again. Really happy to get it. I just need to get Fallout New Vegas Game of the Year Edition. Um, I don't want to go for every single version of a game. Like the Red Dead Redemption set. I have the Ultimate Edition of that with all three games on White Well, both Undead Nightmare. And I'm quite happy with that. I don't need to go, oh, I need the, the standard version now. I, I'm not going to do it like that. As long as I'll go, for, if there's a version that has all of the DLC on the disc, that's the version I'll go for. That was eight pounds. I'll call it with six. And then last on the PS3, a bit more of an expensive one, um, Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. Um, it's a uh, Tales of Symphonia. I believe this was. I want to say it was a GameCube game originally, but I could be wrong. Um, I, I'm I'm sure it was either a GameCube or a PS2 game or PSP. But this is like a HD remake of it, remaster. Um, this is the first um, JRPG I've got on the PS3. They are getting a bit more expensive, so this one's good to have in the collection because it might raise in price. You never know. So, and that was 15 quid. 
Then for the PS4, just two games. First up, Dead Rising 4, Frank's Big Package. Um, I originally played this on the Xbox One, but I never did any of the DLC, I don't think. I, I think I got the DLC, um, but I never did it. And this comes with all the DLC on the disc, I believe. Um, and the case is cracked at the top, but I do have a replacement case. I know a lot of people didn't like this game. I thought it was still pretty fun. Um, what I actually, a lot of people don't like the fact that they took away the time limit. I actually did, because that was one thing that kind of annoyed me about Dead Rising, is if you mess up the time limit, uh, to me, I, I'm not really a big fan of time li limit in video games because, yes, some people say it gives it that extra layer of um, challenge to it, but for me, it's more stressful. I like to take my time with video games, so happy to have this one. I've been looking for it for a decent price for a while. I know a lot of people didn't like it because it took away a lot of the style of the other games, um, but I enjoyed it for what it was, so looking forward to re playing this one. Then I took the plunge and I got Grand Theft Auto The Definitive Edition Trilogy. Now the reason why I picked this one up, first up because I had, you know, a, first of all it wasn't great pickings today. There wasn't a lot of stuff that really stood out to me. It was either this or Call of Duty Vanguard. Um, I was going to get this when it first was announced, um, but on, on the Xbox series, on the digital, um, but... Honestly, it's still full price at the moment. Um, this game was released with a lot of controversy behind it. A lot of people were really pissed off when this game was announced. I don't understand why. You know, Rockstar fans, oh, we need a new game, we need a new game. They released something new, they hate on it. Um, I, I played all the originals back on the PS2. Um, but what made this one stand out to me was the fact that it's... It's done the right thing. It's kept the original game sort of as they are. And the gameplay very similar. But they've made quality of life changes. You know, so that that to me is how a remaster should be done. Is, is keep the game... If the game's good, keep it how it plays very similar to the original. But just update the controls, the graphics, that sort of thing. But of course this game released in a right state. Um, I believe a majority of the problems have been patched now, so that's why I waited on this one. I'm glad I waited on it. I'm happy to have a physical version because I think the physical version might become a little bit more rare in the future. Plus, it's always good to have some expensive games in your backlog, even if you play the game and you don't like it. It's good to have it because you never know if you come on hard times, you can sell this for like 30, 40, 50 quid. It is what it is. But I'm looking forward to checking them out. Again, I, I always struggle with these games when I go back and play them on PS2 because the controls are a little bit off. Um, it's hard to go back to. It takes a little bit of time. So I'm looking forward to trying them out and just seeing if it controls. Because I hear it has GTA 5 controls. Which if it does, I'm all down for it. Because I think GTA 5 had fantastic control. Um, of course, GTA 6 is it going to come out. We don't know. I'm not that bothered about it. I enjoyed all of the GTA games. But I never beat any GTA game apart from GTA 5. So I'm, I'm going to actually try and play these. And hopefully with the updated controls. And the fact that you don't... Um, one biggest thing for me on this is if you fail a mission you can restart it straight away you don't have to go back and find the mission that for me is a huge plus and um, let me know in the comments below is this game in a better state should i have maybe picked up a digital version on the series s or or what but i'm um, at least with the physical version i can sell it if i need to so but i'm happy to have it and it was the last one they had so yeah then the dvds um first up we have uh, the Banquet, just another one of these Asian type movies. I'm enjoying watching all types of movies. Um, I watched a movie earlier called Cinderella from 1977 on Full Moon. Um, I subscribed to that Full Moon and my first time watching a Full Moon type movie, wow. That movie was, it was just sex. It might, it's the story of Cinderella, but sex. Everything is sex. There's so much bush and boobies. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but uh, you know, it, I was like, okay, so if this is what Full Moon's about, I'm glad I subscribed to this. You know, sex, violence, and rock and roll. Who doesn't love it, right? Um, 
But yeah, I mean, it wasn't a great movie. You know, it's just this, uh, this story of Cinderella with with uh, more adult themes. Uh, I wouldn't say it's hardcore porn, but I wouldn't really say it was too softcore either. It, it actually showed, you know, full-on sex scenes as well. But wow, I mean, if that what Full Moon's about, yeah. But anyway, this one looks kind of interesting. That was a 150. Um, and then I've, I've decided I am going to go for a full Tom and Jerry collection. Um, and that includes the volumes. Um, um, if it has a complete series volume, then I'll obviously pick that one up. But Tom and Jerry Tales, volume 5 and 6. I think I have volume 1 and 2 or 1 um, of Tom and Jerry Tales. I don't think I ever watched Tom and Jerry Tales. Um, it was a more up-to-date one. Um, but I love Tom and Jerry um, so, yeah, pick this one up. Um, this was £3 to go with me Tom and Jerry collection. But, yeah, so happy with that. Then two wrestling DVDs. Because um, WWE has sort of decided that they're not going to be um, releasing Blu-rays and DVDs now or they're going to be stopping them soon, um, I feel like it's a good time to pick some up while they're cheap because they might start to get a bit more sought after in the future amongst like hardcore WWE collectors um, so these were both five pounds each um, the greatest superstars of 21st century I prefer these sort of WWE documentary style ones than the than the usual pay-per-views because I can watch all of the pay-per-views on WWE Network um, Great superstars of 21st century of course John Cena, Triple H, Edge, Undertaker, Chris Jericho, The Rock JBL, Batista, Rey Mysterio, Stone Cold. Um, this is 6 hours and 28 minutes. So I like these sort of documentary style ones. And it's a three disc set. Um, so I prefer to have these over than the individual pay-per-views. At least for now. Um, then we have the 2011 annual. I have the 2009 annual one I think. Um, for the best of 2009 Raw. Um, so this includes um, the best of Raw 2010, the best of Smackdown 2009, 2010 and live in the UK April um, 2011. I actually watched WWE about this time so a lot of the stuff on here um, will probably, um, it's an 8 disc set. Um, a lot of this stuff on here will probably, I'll probably remember when I watch it. So, um, I actually watched WWE about this time. And this is a 19 and 7 minute long DVD set. So, great stuff. Um, the Nexus, mate. I remember Nexus. They were, that was when WWE was in its prime, um, in my opinion. I think, um, for modern WWE, I think mid 2000s was a great time for wwe um lately i haven't been watching new stuff but i keep up to date with what's happening then we got the adventures of tintin the complete 21 adventures i believe these are just all um like feature length mini movies i think um tintin of course is a french comic um it, it doesn't say how long each individual film is but i'll probably it'll probably tell me when i add it to my um thing um it was a five so i thought why not um i've never really read the tintin comics or played the books um read the books or watched any of the movies or shows but um i figured you know what i'll check it out um it is english language not french but um of course tintin um classic um, this is from 2009 and it was only a fiver so I figured you know what for a fiver um, for a complete adventures and then for eight pounds the Bruce Campbell collection I mainly picked this up because it has a Bubba Hotep on it because I want to check that movie out because I've heard that movie is insane basically about Elvis and uh, I think it's President Kennedy is still alive in the, in the modern age or something like that and it sounds insane but it comes with My Name is Bruce, Bubba Hotep, Alien Apocalypse, and The Man with the Screaming Brain. Um, Bruce Campbell, a lot of people consider him a very underrated actor, of course, well known from the uh, um, Evil Dead. Yeah, yeah, the Evil Dead movies and the Evil Dead um, TV shows and stuff like that. So happy to pick this one up. Um, never seen any of these movies, so I'm expecting these to be sort of over the top. Um, then some Blu-rays. I've got two upgrades here. Um, so first up, uh, the movie 
Invasion, Blackout the Invasion Earth from 2019 for £3. Um, it looks sci-fi, action, might be worth a watch. Um, don't know how good it is. Um, kind of a blind buy here, but um, it's got five stars apparently. So, And it is 127 minutes long. Um, then I also picked up Suits. I've seen this in CEX for months now, and I figured, you know what, I'll pick it up because it was only £10. Um, I'm not sure if this show is a drama comedy, or if it's a comedy, or if it's just drama. Um, I, I haven't watched it. I know it's on Netflix, um, but again, you um, obviously Netflix and subscription services with TV shows, you can, you know, they can lose rights and stuff. Um, Universal, so, um, I don't know who, yeah, so, um, but it has some special features on here, and any time I see a TV show that's got complete series on Blu-ray for a decent price, I'll pick it up, because you never know, another show to watch, and then the two upgrades, um, from DVDs, so I can get rid of my DVDs now, first up is the Lethal Weapon, Quadrilogy with all four Lethal Weapon movies on Blu-ray. I have the individual versions on DVD so I can sell my DVDs of them now because I've got the complete series of Blu-ray. Um, some people prefer individual releases. I, I'll i be honest with you, I, I prefer, if it's all condensed in one case like this, I, I personally prefer it because it's all in one case. You don't have to have that extra bit of space, you know. Haven't seen any of the Lupal Methods movie. Another set of movies that I need to watch, but now I have it in glorious Blu-ray. And that was a tenner. And for £18, The Godfather Coppola Restoration. I have this on DVD, um, so I can finally get rid of the DVD. I've seen maybe like an hour of the first Godfather movie. Um, I know that I enjoyed them. But they are very sort of long movies and you have to be in the right frame of mind to watch them because they're a little bit on the slower side. Um, but they are, of course, some of the greatest movies of all time. At least the first two are anyway. Um, but it has a ton of special features on here. I, uh, excuse me, I imagine it's pretty much the same um, feature-wise as the DVD set. But um, happy to have this one for 18 quid. So... There we go, that was what I picked up today. I made a comment about this to them. I said, why do they put the stickers on here? And he said it's because it says on here um, that people, some people don't know that you can trade stuff in after you buy it from them. I don't know, man. You see, yeah, you kind of know where you're going to, right? I don't know. But um, probably my favourite pickup of the day. Um, I'm quite happy that I, I finally got a copy of this. Um, I'm looking forward to checking it out. So what are my plans for the rest of the time? I'm going to go and just do some washing up now, tidy up. Um, having dinner soon, got bacon and egg um, sandwich, uh, rolls, some nice chips from the uh, local chippy down the road. I always get their chips, fries, sorry, not chips, I prefer fries. Um, and then tonight I'm going to play some Far Cry 6. Last night I played Black Ops, well, I beat World at War because I only had two missions left and started Black Ops 1. I still think Black Ops 1 is, is such an underrated game. Um... Tonight I'm going to play some Far Cry 6 and then I'm watching Star Wars The Last Jedi on 4K. I've only got one more to watch on the 4K set than the uh, special features. Um, also last night I watched Laura and Hardy um, Disc 4. I still think Laura and Hardy is amazing. I, I, I just, I'm going to do a, 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 a full review on that set at some point. I, I always say I will, but I will. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. And, of course, comment below. Let me know what you picked up recently. Let me know in the comments below, is this any good now? Um, let me know. And, as always, guys, um, subscribe if you haven't already. And join the family. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a, a PS4 collection. Uh, well, I probably will add a PS3 collection, but it will only be a one-part video. Um, and then maybe a PS2 collection. And then we're all caught up today. But as always, guys, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.